Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, I'm over here. Uh, it's July the 11th. It's a Tuesday, July the 11th, and uh, it's around. It's past 8 p.m. It's past 8. I'm still working on this engine. Um, I've been working on this engine uh, for a few days, and uh, somebody's been in it. Uh, this is the VQ 3500 2008 from a Nissan Maxima and he also comes uh, uh, this is the year where they made uh, changes Nissan made some changes uh, they started they started the uh, pairing this engines with the CVT somewhere around 2007 2008 that was the uh, first generation and uh, let me show you let me show you what I'm working on. So this is the v, VQ3500. Uh, I'm just finished doing the timing chain. And I did the uh, valve covers as well. Uh, this engine had a um, P0300 random misfire. And somebody somebody had replaced the uh, coils they replaced the coils they replaced the uh, spark plugs um they um they did some work i believe somebody was somebody worked on this uh engine before because it had a lot of it had a lot of silicone uh it was resealed with a bunch of silicone i had to scrape everything off and um, uh, whoever worked on it, uh, they did, he did, or she uh, did a ba bad job, a really bad job. Um, this, uh, trans this engine, basically what he needed was uh, the valve covers. The valve covers were leaking into the uh, spark plug tubes. Um, that alone would cause some misfire. And the timing chain was wore out. Uh, all the tensioner guys, uh, they were wore out. It was nothing but metal. Um, so every time you start it up, you can hear the chain noise. Uh, I, I knew right away that um, I needed a timing chain. And he also has some, it had a low compression cylinder. Um, it had a couple of, not, bent valves but they weren't seating right you know i guess all that carbon build up so i had to remove this head i had to remove this head off right here then uh i'll replace uh it's got a new head gasket i replaced the valves i replaced the seals you see it's got a new head gasket right there uh i replaced the uh cylinder one and three Cylinder one and three were having issues, so I replaced the valves, I replaced the seals, I uh, replaced the head gasket, uh, checked for compression. Uh, compression is good after the repairs, and I did the uh, timing chain. I got a new water pump too in it, and I'm just resealing this engine. Uh, valve covers are new. I didn't have to do the spark plugs nor the uh, coils. So it looks like somebody. I think somebody just kept throwing money at it. I believe this engine comes from a uh, a junkyard because it still has the uh, heat tabs. Let me see. Uh, I think there's one right here. Let me see. Right here, there's one right here. And there was one right here. And there was another one right here, but when I went to clean it up, uh, they came out so this engine is ready to go um this is how uh, i don't know if you know this guys but uh on this uh cars to do the timing chain you have to pretty much remove the engine out of the vehicle it's a pain in the butt and the way i do it excuse my mess uh, i got a big mess over here i'm trying to clean up the way I do it is I uh, I drop the whole thing. 
as you can see uh, there's just a frame left and there's nothing over here there's nothing um, that's the harness and uh, maybe I'm doing it the, the long way but um, I dropped the frame the frame was caked up with uh, a lot of oil and dirt and uh, it was just caked up everywhere because the power steering uh, was power steering pump was leaking here uh, and the transmission was leaking on this side so everything was caked up with uh, oil and um, and dirt so this is the way I do things you know I uh, I don't know uh, you don't always have to do it this way but this is the way I prefer to do it because that way I'm resealing the engine I'm doing repairs to the engine and I'm resealing the complete engine um, I still got my kit this is my head gasket kit. Uh, I'm still working on it. I still got to do a few things to it. And I completely resealed this engine. And I know the transmission had a bad leak. It looks like it was coming from here. Um, so I'm going to replace this seal, the converter seal. I'm going to replace this gasket. I'm going to replace this filter. And I'm going to replace the seal down there that seal down there um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm resealing the whole engine and resealing the whole transmission uh, this car seems like uh, seems like it had some poor maintenance And um, whoever worked on it, they they just did a horrible job. So I'm trying to correct everything again and get this car back on the road. Um, and I just want to point out a couple of things on uh, on the CVT. Uh, this is the uh, first generation, and uh, this is the very first uh, CVT transmission that Nissan started installing and then uh, uh, Maximas, and also in the Altimas. The Altimas are a little smaller than this. Uh, you can tell the difference because uh, the V6 always come with the aluminum um, oil pen, and the uh, four cylinders always come with the metal oil pen. So that's how you can tell the difference. They look the same, but they're not the same. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a service on this transmission. I already opened it. Um, it's just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. All you gotta do is just remove all the 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. And the oil pan will come out. Uh, this gasket is reusable or you can uh, buy a new one. Um, but if you can buy it from the dealer, um, the other one is made out of rubber and it tends to leak in the aftermarket. And um, this is the filter right here. The filter goes right here. Uh, internal filter, or oh, if I may say the screen. Uh, somebody got into an argument with me because I call it a filter and he said it was a screen. Uh, but either way, it filters the uh, large, uh, debris as you can see it's got some it's got some debris in it uh, that's just normal wear that's just normal wear um, you can see right here that's just normal wear um, it's got quite a bit but in here I don't see anything that I might be might be worried about it. Uh, I don't see when you start seeing metal shavings or large chunks of aluminum. Uh, that's when you know your your transmission is done. Um. So right now, all I'm seeing is just a uh, regular, normal wear. Um. And uh, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna wash this off. This is reusable too, or you can buy a new one, either or. Um, and you can, uh, this one, it has to be removed and replaced. And this is the uh, part number right here. I bought it at the, uh, at the Nissan dealership. And that's gonna be your part number. Um, sometimes you gotta give them the part number because uh, they're not able to find it in the system. So uh, the only way they can find it is with the uh, part number. And I just wanted to point it out. Um, if you do, if you doing maintenance, if you do maintenance on these transmissions, uh, I know uh, there's a lot of bad reviews about it. <laughs> um, and I know a lot of people have some bad experiences with them and they probably don't want to see a CVT in their life <laughs> but uh, these transmissions are not that bad uh, this is 2008 and the car was still running the only problem was the engine because it had a severe misfire and they couldn't figure it out um, they couldn't figure it out so I believe I believe what happened they got tired of putting money into it because they were gonna they were gonna go as far as replacing the alternator uh, and uh, I don't even know why uh, the alternator has nothing to do with the uh, with the misfire but I think they got frustrated I believe they put this engine from the junkyard somebody tried to work on it and messed it all up um, they couldn't get rid of the misfire so they ended up treading it in and I bought it thinking that um, it's like uh, I was like Brandon misfire that should be easy just valve cover um, coils and new spark plugs that would take care of it uh, little that I know I was I was looking into uh, something more severe uh, more expensive and uh, anyway so the card is here I bought it, uh, all I can do is fix it. Uh, but this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm working on. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna clean this up, I'm gonna clean the tray, and I'm gonna clean the filter, and I'm gonna replace this filter right here. Uh, and if you can do that to your transmission, um, I can guarantee you this transmission is gonna run for for quite a while. Uh, you, can get, you can get at least 250,000 out of these transmissions but you have to do the services. If you don't maintain these transmissions, uh, they're gonna go out as soon as 120, 130,000 miles. So a lot of people don't know, a lot of people don't know that this is a filter and this is another filter and this one gets clogged up. Once, the, once this filter gets clogged up, it will destroy the whole transmission in the inside. Uh, you better believe it. It will break pieces inside the transmission. Uh, you'll see a bunch of pieces laying on the tray. Um, and I, I don't think I was able to show you. Uh, we're looking at the bottom of the transmission. See, uh, we're looking at the bottom. I just flipped it over. Uh, but um, on my other video, I was trying to let you know guys that these are a bunch of 10 millimeters but it's got a it's got a uh, a shorter bolt see see it's got all 10 millimeters but it's got one short bolt so you want to make sure you put this bolt right here the short one uh, clean your filter put it back on and uh, all of the uh, rest of the bolts go around, except for this one. This is the short one. Um, uh, just be careful. Uh, you don't want to put this. You don't want to put this bolt right here. It'll fit, but I know some people try to uh, use the impact, and if you drive this in there, <laughs> are you gonna damage your transmission? So. Um, but um yeah this is it so i don't know i think i'm going uh 
I'm going uh, the extra mile over here and, and doing extra work. Um, when I'm done with this car, it's going to be a good car. A lot of my cars, uh, they're still running. Uh, I do this all the time, um, especially when something needs a timing chain and the whole engine has to be dropped to do the timing chain. Uh, I'll just go ahead and reseal it. I drop the engine transmission and reseal everything, reseal the transmission, reseal the engine, uh, slap it back in, and uh, it should be ready to go. So um, uh, it's a lot of work for a 2008. I don't think I'm even going to get my money back out of it, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead. It's already here. I already put a lot of time and a lot of money. Might as well just get it out of here, um, try to sell it. Uh, for profit, which I don't think there's gonna be any profit on this But anyway guys, that's my story and I uh, just wanted to let you know I just wanted to show you how to service you CVT and if you follow these steps if you service your CVT uh, I can guarantee you that you're gonna get quite a bit of miles out of the transmission uh, They're not uh, there's not a bad transmission or a bad engine. It's just bad maintenance and people not keeping up with them uh, and That's why well, that's why they breaking down But if you have any questions guys, you just let me know put them in the comments um, I just wanted to show you last time. I couldn't show you the bow body nor the internal filter uh, But today I'm taking the opportunity to show it to you so I'm gonna clean this up and uh, I'm gonna put it all back together and hopefully tomorrow I'll be dropping this engine and transmission into the uh, car and just be done with it. But thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Have a good one.